اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سیریل میڈیشن انالیسز ان ایموس آئی بی ایم ایس پی ایس ایس ایموس سیریز انٹروڈکشن ٹو سیریل میڈیشن ناو سیریل میڈیشن آلسو کالڈ چین میڈیشن is where the influence of an independent variable flows through multiple mediators before impacting the dependent variable. So you've got a chain of relationship whereby the effect starts flowing from one variable, it goes on to the next, then on to the next, and then maybe there are other variables in the chain as well before impacting the ultimate dependent variable. In this session, we are going to look into how to assess serial mediation whereby there is a chain of relationship between different variables. Now serial mediation often takes place where the first mediator will have a direct relationship with the second mediator before ultimately having a relationship to the final dependent variable. With this type of mediation you have to account for indirect effect across multiple constructs. Now your impact or your indirect impact from your IV to your DV is flowing through multiple constructs or variables. Now this type of mediation we are going to use estimates function again as we did in the last case where we assessed multiple mediators. In this revised model the influence or effect of organizational learning which is our IV is proposed to flow through two mediators that is collaborative culture and organizational commitment to organizational performance. Now putting this another way, the indirect effect of organizational learning represented by OL to organizational performance represented by OP actually flows through two constructs, collaborative culture CC and organizational commitment OC. Next we need to label the arrows that is our parameters between each construct just like we did in our normal parallel mediation. Now look at this, this is how we are going to label it. The IV, organizational learning, is impacting collaborative culture which influences organizational commitment and that influences organizational performance. So look at this, there is a chain of relationship. Since it's mediation, so we've got a path labeled from OL which is your IV to OP which is your DV. Now how do we label and what are the labels for each relationship? So A path, this is your A path from your IV to your first mediator OL to CC, that is your A path. Your B path is the relationship or impact of our organizational commitment OC to OP. Your D path is the relationship between the two mediators. And your C path is actually the original relationship between IV and DV. Now first let's label these in AMOS. So now here is our model. We've got our independent variable, dependent variables and the two mediators. Now in order to label the paths, what you need to do is just double click the arrow. And the regression weight for this one is labeled as A underscore path. Similarly you can do for IV and DV is actually C underscore path. This is D underscore path. So just double click it and obviously go to parameters and then you can label it. And this is B underscore path. Now all paths have been named so we will press the cross button. In order to know how to develop this model or how to develop this model based on these tools you will have to look into some of the earlier videos. The link will be shared in the description. Now once the model has been done, the next step is user defined estimates. But before we define it, let's discuss this briefly. Now that we have uniquely labeled the parameters as A path, B path, C path and D path, we need the use of the estimate function to define a new function. Now why do we need this function in order to estimate the indirect effects from IV to DV through our two mediators? To calculate the indirect effect in serial mediation, you need to multiply the intermediating relationships together. Now what you need to do is you just need to multiply the relationships, the paths. 
Now in this case, you will multiply the regression coefficient for each intervening relationship. In our example, we've got A path, D path and B path and these are our intervening relationship. This will give us serial indirect effect in the estimate function just like this. A path multiplied by D path multiplied by B path. Let us call our indirect test SM here. In the syntax, we will specify the formula for the indirect relationship. After doing this, we will make sure to check for syntax errors and then we can save and exit the pop-up window. Now, how do we create this function here, this equation here in AMOS? Now, A path, D path, B path. Why A path, D path and B path? Because look at this. This is the path that is your indirect effect. A path from OL to CC and then CC impacts OC which is D path then OC impacts OP that is your B path. If you have more variables obviously the path will increase. Now how do you define the user defined estimate? Just come here right click and in this case define new estimate. Now this is where you define your estimate. In this case let's say SM serial mediation is equal to that is A underscore path multiplied by D underscore path. So A path is from IV to the first mediator. D path is from first mediator to second mediator. And finally, your second mediator to your DV is your B path. Whereas C path is actually the path from your IV to DV. So this shouldn't be in the equation. Now that you have defined the estimate, you are just going to save it. Let's say we save it here. Yes. Now our model is now ready to run. How do we run it? We just calculate estimates. Now here are your results. Just go to view text to see the results. We are interested in here estimates. So you click estimates and in scalars, the first thing that we are interested in is assessing the indirect effect user defined estimates. Look at this here. This is 0.192. So the indirect effect is 0.192. Is it significant? So what you need to do is just go to bootstrap confidence and from here you can select two tailed confidence. Now this will give you the lower bound, upper bound confidence interval, the p value and everything. Now there are multiple estimates that should be considered or assessed or analyzed. Now in order to do this what I've done is I've put in everything here in this PowerPoint slide. So I'm going to stepwise explain everything and where each of these tables are actually located in this particular output. Serial mediation. Now the first thing that we need to understand is whether the impact of IV on DV through the two mediating variables was significant or not. Now in order to locate the significance of results, what you need to do is you need to go to estimates and from scalars, just press or select user defined estimates. Now, once you select user defined estimates, the next thing that you need to do is from this estimates bootstrap tree structure, you need to select two tailed bias corrected confidence interval. And this will give you this particular table. Now, how do you interpret this table? The results of the indirect effect through both the intervening variables to OP was 0.192. Now this is the indirect effect. Is it significant? Yes, it's significant because the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So yes, there is serial mediation. Yes, there is an indirect effect of IV that is your organizational learning on organizational performance through the two mediating variables that is collaborative culture and organizational commitment. Next thing. We initially can determine that the serial mediation is significant. Yes, it is significant. But we need to examine the direct effects to determine the type of mediation. The direct effect is significant as well. Look at this here, C path. It is significant, less than 0 0.001. Now where is this located? Obviously in estimates. Just click estimates and in the output window you will see regression weights. And there you will see the path from OL to OP is significant. Now since the direct effect and the indirect effect both are significant so what we are going to say is that there is partial mediation 
The results show that both indirect effect and the direct effect are significant. This means that partial mediation is present with the serial mediation test. Now, as stated earlier, if you have three or more mediators, the process would still be the same. You obviously will have to name the parameters. You would label all the parameters and then get all the product of all the relationship from the IV to the DV through the mediators using the estimate function. Moving on. Now, this is the lower bound bias corrected confidence interval and this is the upper bound bias corrected confidence interval. Now, where do you get this? Obviously, from the estimates, select matrices and within matrices, you will have indirect effects. Now, once you click indirect effects, the next thing that you need to do is select bias corrected percentile method and therein you will see this table. If you go to the bias corrected percentile method from these indirect effects where the bootstrap analysis is presented, you get the same confidence interval and p-values as one listed in estimates output. Now the same thing 0 0.126, 0 0.382, you will get the same lower bound and upper bound in the estimates table user defined estimates table. Now look at this here 0 0.126, 0 0.382 and this is the same as here 0 0.126, 0 0.382. Now what is this 0.393? This is the indirect effect from OL to organizational commitment. Why and how is this an indirect effect? I'm going to just show this in a short while. Now remember these results are similar to the user defined estimates. These user defined estimates that we saw earlier only because you've got one path from the IV to the DV. There are no multiple independent variables, no multiple dependent variables so that the paths could change. In this example, the indirect effect of OL to OP has no other possible indirect effect but through the two mediators. Now, since the indirect effect from OL to OP could only go through the two specified intervening variable, we should be able to get the same results from the indirect effects. Now look at this 0.192. Isn't, is, isn't this the same indirect effect that we got from user defined estimates? Yes, it is. So how do you get this? Just go to matrices, select indirect effects and from bootstrap, select estimates. So what is this? What is this indirect effect? So 0.192, the indirect effect of OL to OP. So what is this 0.515? What is this? 0.212 from CC to OP, OL to OC. Now look at this. OL affects CC and organizational commitment is affected by CC. Now what happens is that the effect of OL on OC is mediated by CC. So you've got an indirect effect flowing from OL to OC from CC. So OL to OC is your indirect effect that is mediated by CC. So that's why we've got an indirect effect here 0.515. What about this CC OP? Look at this CC and OP. Now there is a mediator in between that is organizational commitment OC. So here is the indirect effect from CC to OP from CC to OP because you've got a mediator here as well. That's why you are seeing indirect effects from OL to OC and CC to OP. Now, how do you report your serial mediation? Now, this is a sample to report serial mediation. This is the direct effect that is from IV to DV. This is your indirect effect from IV to DV through the two mediators. This is the confidence interval that we got from user defined estimates. This is the P value and this is the conclusion that is partial mediation. Now, how do you report these results? In order to report these results, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to mention that you are conducting serial mediation and assessing the mediating role of these two variables between OL and OP. The next thing you have to report the indirect effects from OL to OP. Yes, they were significant. So your hypothesis or your serial mediation hypothesis is supported. Following this, you report the direct effect of OL on OP in presence of the mediators was also significant. Hence, you can conclude that CC and OC partially mediated the relationship between OL and OP. And obviously make sure that you mention your table in the text. That is you cite your table in the text. Finally, if you want to know more, refer to this book by Joel E. Collier.
I hope this video would have helped you understand the concept of serial mediation and how to assess serial mediation in AMOS. Thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thank you.